Ahoy shipmates! Today Griffin Beast have sent me some frames to look at that are going to be in their upcoming box sets of Dark Age Pictish Warriors and Dark Age Welsh. Okay we're going to have a quick look at the sprues. So here we go, we got these are the standard bodies, which I believe are the same bodies as the Irish. Okay, so they'll all be the same size. There's our head options. There's these are the bits that different in each set at the bottom here. So we've got our Pictish shields. Those are slowly and the float heads. They're quite cool. Just have a good look at all these. Nice. And then here we are with the Welsh. You can Standard bodies and the big shields. And I think they all look very Welsh to me. Uh, let's break into this. Is these are the test frames I've been given here. So, this one in the production one will be the same as this one. And then you've got two extra big spears at the bottom, so that's that sorted. So not to worry there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clip some of these off. And, well, I'm going to clip them all off, actually. Clean them up. and take some stills for you so you can see what they look like again they, they I just love the uh, heads are cool and they paint up those expressions really work pretty clean so the, these were the test ones so I don't expect them to be any different. But there we go. They're going to be available from Griffin Beast, I think, um, kind of a couple of weeks' time. So they're, by the time you probably watch this video, they might have to be released. They're going to be priced the same as their other boxes. So, yeah, get on, get on it. So what I'll do is I'm not going to muck around anymore I'm gonna switch the video off clip them out of the frame there's plenty of room to clip around these which is really neat get them on those old run end of braces over there take some photographs and then what we're doing another video for next week sometime is I'll do a paint through for both of them so I hope that's been informative quite a short one and We'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I spent a little while now just pop popping these guys together. So let's have a look at these quickly. And these are the picks. And we can hear the snoring stuffy as usual. I've just blue tacked their shields on for now so I can get them paint. Sometimes you, you see these plastic mixtures, they haven't got a lot of movement. Uh, but I found these were really easy to make the all difference. Seeing as I'm not one of the world's greatest modelers. But there wasn't a lot of flash to clean off. Um, I like the hoods, they go really well into the cloaks. Not fiddly at all. 
even the crossbow with the two-handed bit wasn't incredibly hard to put. Love the pick shields. Now I've not done any gap filling at all, they're just as you see straight on there. I thought I missed a bit of flash in there. Yeah, so that's the pits. And as you see, these are all your leftover bits. It's always good to have a good bit box. Right, now we've got the Welsh. Plenty of movement in these guys. As I said, what surprised me was Seems as you're, you've got the same basic body as in the Irish set, is these guys, I really try to focus on making them all look a little bit different. And I think it's worked. This guy came out really nice. Look at that, he's going to go and lump somebody. He's in full flight, isn't he? So I can't wait to paint these guys now. I've got I'm gonna do another video on these for next week. I'm gonna paint them and we go for some like a painting guide. Okay, so as you see that's the bits left over from the Welsh. So what I'll do now is I'll take some stills in the light box so you can have a so you'll be able to pause the video and have a good look at them. And I hope this has been informative. They are available from Gripping Beast. Um, drop by, give them an order. They are nice to keep busy. And uh, I'll see you next time where we're painting them. Cheers then.